And polling is underway in Japan for a snap election in which Prime Minister Shinzo Abe's Conservative Party is expected to cruise to a comfortable majority. Close to 1,200 candidates are fighting for 465 seats in Japan's more powerful lower house. And polls are being conducted a month later. Abe called a snap election after facing continuous threat from North Korea. Media polls have indicated that voters favoring Abe's government is a safe choice over an opposition now with uncertain track record. If opinion polls are to be believed, Abe is comfortably poised to become Japan's longest-serving post-war leader. The election is taking place amid heavy rainfall and this could affect the voter turnout as uh, Typhoon Lan is going to make landfall in southern parts of the country. It's represented by three arrows designed to each hit the bullseye and revive Japan's slacking economic growth. It's been coined Abenomics after the man who introduced the strategy, Japan's Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. And when Japan goes into election that the Prime Minister has pulled forward by an entire year, it is expected to be one of the two policies that will ensure comfortable maturity for a fourth term for Abe and will make him the longest serving Prime Minister in the history of Japan. But what are the problems uh, besitting Japan's economy and how will Arbonomics address them? Senior Foreign Editor Padma Rao breaks it down for you. What is Abenomics all about? Here's Arrow 1. This one's about monetary easing. Japanese consumers are saving but not spending their money. After the earthquake of 2012, there was a depression followed by a recession. And unjudicious spending in the past has led to a high debt on part of the government. What are Abe's solutions? Well, the National Bank is to release more money into the market. That, in turn, is expected to boost spending and it's also expected to bring down the cost of exports. Abenomics's Arrow 2 is about robust fiscal reform. Japan's population is aging and there has been increased welfare spending. Tokyo is also paying back huge debt without any new sources of income. And there's infrastructure spending on big-ticket projects like the Olympics in 2020. What are Abe's solutions? Higher consumer tax to meet spending. And finally, here is Abenomics's Arrow 3. This is about boosting private investment. Japan has seen almost zero growth for the last 20 years. It also has the globally lowest female labor force. It has a strong yen, but that's what's making exports suffer. And Abe's solutions to those problems are making business easier in Japan, lowering corporation tax, incentivizing female labor forces and inviting foreigners and fast-tracking residence permits. There is going to be an increased focus on cultural exports and an increase in inbound tourism. And finally, Mr. Shinzo Abe also wants to encourage FDI or foreign direct investment in Japan. Padma Rao, beyond.